welcome back, it's Mimi here. Today I'm coming back to you with another sewing tutorial. This time we're going to be making an off the shoulder romper. And I just uploaded a recent video on how to make the off the shoulder top, but the trend's been everywhere, so I couldn't resist making another one. Anyways, grab your scissors, your fabric, your sewing tools, and let's get started. For this project, you need a shirt, a pair of shorts, two yards of fabric, some decorative elastic, some regular elastic, pattern paper, a marker, and your basic sewing tools. Mark a shirt where you want the neckline to hit on the front and the arm. Draw a straight line across the bodice and connect it to the mark on the sleeve. Trace out the sleeves to the desired length and trace out half of the bodice to the smallest part of your waist plus 2 inches. Trace the front and back of the shorts and straighten out the side seam. When doing this, make sure to keep the side length the same. Measure the widest part of your hips and divide it by 4. If your pattern is less than this, cut it vertically and spread it out so that each pattern is at least the same as the measurement you just took. This will ensure that the romper is wide enough to slip into. Now the seam allowance will vary a little bit, so please check the description box down below for details. But you basically want enough seam allowance at the neck and the waist to accommodate your elastic. Add 1 inch to the bottom of the shorts and the rest can be half an inch. With right sides facing together, sew the bodice. Repeat for the sleeves and attach them to the bodice. Take a decorative elastic that fits snugly around your shoulders and mark equal reference points on both the neckline and the elastic. I simply divide mine into four equal parts. Match up these points for even distribution of your elastic. If needed, sew the neckline either with a zigzag stitch or a serger to prevent the fabric from fraying. Do this before you attach the elastic. Elasticity decreases with additional stitching. So instead of the usual two-step process, I'm going to fold over and secure with a single zigzag stitch. Make sure to stretch as you sew. Use the same decorative elastic on the sleeves. Sew the front and the back leg together. Turn one leg inside out and insert it into the remaining leg. Sew along the crotch. Attach the top to the shorts and finish the edge of the seam allowance. Create the casing by folding the seam allowance down and secure with a straight stitch. Make sure to leave a gap. Attach a safety pin to the elastic and thread it through the casing. Sew the ends together and close off the gap. Lastly, hem the shorts. I decided to stick to the edge of my fabric, but you can fold the hem twice and sew it in place. Your project is not complete. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you next time. Bye!